Hello viewers, welcome to Learning X. Today we are going to show you a very unique dashboard using Microsoft Excel and without macro and VBA. I think you haven't seen this before. The dashboard will be based on all FIFA World Cup data from 1932 to 2018 and it's fully dynamic. I have given the file with the video so that you can learn by doing this. The dashboard link is in the description box. So let's do it. Now let's look at how many charts and what are the charts we will make for our dashboard. First of all, we will make a infographics by total audience. Here it will show the number of total audience participated in the World Cup. Click on a single year, it will show the participation or the audience for that year. If I drag the timeline till here, it will show the total audience in all the World Cup. As like this, it is the maximum number of audience in a single match with the stadium name and it is combined and number of total goals on that specific year or for the full timeline or for a specific timeline and for match played versus goals golden ball winner of a specific year golden boot winner golden gloves winner number of teams played and number of world cup for that year or for a period of time then we'll see that yellow card there is a total euro card in 1934 to 2018 if i click on 1970 or 2014 you can see in 2014 there was 184 euro cards as like same goes to red cards then it's come to this chart here it will show if i click on 1986 the winner of the 1986 if i click on 2018 it will show the winner of 2018 like it's france if i drag a timeline it will show the winners all the winners of that specific timeline if i drag the full timeline it will give that all the winners in a single chart and then here we will we'll create a map chart here it will indicate the number of goals for a country in the whole world cup from 1930 to 2018 and if i click on slicer it will show the number of win loss and draw for that country and goals for goals against and total points in the world cup this is what we'll make for this dashboard so let's start let's look at the database here first sheet contains the world cup data on a yearly basis and second sheet contains data on the team basis in the yearly basis we can see the year of the world cup program the host country the winner of that world cup the number of teams played match played goals scored top scorer name top scorer total attendance or uh, audience of that world cup highest attendance in a single match and venue for that number of yellow card number of red card golden ball and golden gloves winner of that world cup in second sheet we can see all data our team basis here is the team name here is the total goals for their team goals against number of win draw and loss and total points in the world cup all the data here are from 1930 to 2018 it's include only the football world cup data first of all i'll insert a worksheet i'll rename it with dashboard then i'll go to insert and i'll insert a picture which is the theme of our dashboard already i have chosen a wallpaper with a stadium background now i'll fit it with my page and i'll format it i'll dim the brightness with minus 33 percent then i'll insert shape I'll drag it then I'll make it thinner and I'll adjust it then again I'll insert a shape this is for our title I'll drag it down I'll do the same and I'll form it and resize the shape with a specific height and width with 5.29 and 1.32 i'll place it i'll do the same i'll insert a shape i'll format it 
with a specific size. Now I'll place it. I will edit it with shape editor. I'll drag it little on the right side and I will edit this tool to give a cut with shape. Okay, now it's looking good. I'll make a copy of it and I'll place it. Now I'll do it four times. I'll adjust it. Now I'll copy this clipper and I'll paste it here. This is for total audience. I'll insert a shape. This will be the chart for number of champions. I'll give a specific height and width. I'll place it. Now I'll copy the trophy and I'll place it into a dashboard. I'll keep it in the middle of our dashboard. I'll copy the shape. I'll place it here. I'll do it once more. I'll change it. Shape editor. I'll adjust all the shapes. Now I will insert a line. I will place it here. I will format it and I will change the width. I will also change the color with white color. I will insert another line. I will format it as like the same. I will copy this. I will paste one upper side and one down side. Now I will make it group. I'll make this shape a little smaller so that we can get some more space. Now I'll go to icons by clicking insert and icons. I'll insert one football icon. There it is. Now I'll change the color. I'll change it with golden color. I'll make a copy of it. Now I'll insert one line. I'll place it here. Now I'll change the width. I'll change the color of this button. Actually, this is a shape, but I will make it a button. I'll change the color. I'll give no outline. And for fill, I'll give golden color as same like the button. I'll do same for this as well. For the shape, I'll give white color background and outline, no outline and I'll format this with format painter as like the same here I will give my title FIFA World Cup 1938 to 2018 dashboard now I will align it Now for the shape, I will give a specific color by format shape, more fill color with a red, green and blue with a specific color.
I'll make it transparent with 48% and I'll copy this and I'll paste it in all the shapes except these two and I'll give the first one with the yellow color pure yellow color with the transparency of 25% and for second one I'll give a pure red color and with the same transparency of 25% I'll give a shape effect and I'll outline it with no outline I'll do the same for all, all the shapes now I'll copy those creepers and I'll place it in the right right side and I'll place it in a way it looks beautiful you can give here some players photo or any other thing that you think it will look nice Now I'll insert a shape and I will do this for giving title. I'll fill it with no fill and outline with no outline. Now I'll write the title. I will align it. I'll bold it. And I will give a shadow effect. Now I will copy it and I will paste it in all the shapes. Max audience in a single match. Total goals. In the World Cup match played versus goals golden ball winner golden boot winner golden globes winner red versus yellow card Yellow card, I'll change the color and the font. This is the winner of the World Cup. Red card. Number of total World Cup for a selected year. Number of teams in a single year. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. I'll do the same for this. I'll align it. I have some work to do in later. Now I'll give a shadow effect. I'll give shadow effect to all the shapes and to all the headings, charts, pictures, whatever I have in the dashboard. Now I will copy this red ball. I'll paste it in total goals in the World Cup. Now I'll copy this text box. I'll paste it in the red ball. I'll give a shadow effect. I'll copy this golden boot and I'll paste it here. I'll also do the same. Now we are in the main part. We'll insert pivot table. Our first task is to find out total audience. So for that, we'll give total audience in values and we'll find out what is total audience I'll link it here and I'll drag it down I'll format this I'll custom it I will show total audience in millions so I'll I'll give 0.002 comma for million and I'll type million 
now the data will be shown in million I will go to dashboard I will link it with total audience I'll copy this text box and I'll link I'll link it with that specific seal I'll go to sheet 3 and I'll link it here how it's linked I'll change the color now I'll give it a font with Arial black I'll increase the font and yes it's done now I'll copy it and I'll paste it here now I want audience highest audience in a single match so I'll do this I attendance in a match I'll paste it in values I'll find this now I'll do the same as like the previous one I'll format the sale this time I want to show the total audience in thousand so I'll give one comma and I'll type thousand and I'll get it now I'll go to dashboard again it's same I'll copy a text box and I'll link this with that cell I equal sign go to that sheet and I'll link it it's done I'll change the font color and the size as like the previous now I want to show that in which stadium actually it was happened for that I'll go to analyze sheet I'll copy this and I'll paste it here I'll give highest attendance value in rows I'll link this cell then I'll go to dashboard I'll copy a text box and I'll link this with this now I'll find out total goal scored in the World Cup for that we'll go to analyze sheet we'll copy this and paste it I'll give total goal scored in values I'll go to dashboard and I'll link the cell with this text box now I'll change the color and format it now I'll find out match played versus match goals for that I'll copy this and I'll paste it I'll find out match played and I'll give it to values and I'll find out goal score give it to values I'll get this I'll go to insert now pie chart a donut chart now I'll right click and I'll select data I'll switch row to column click OK and I will hide all the buttons and unnecessary text I'll fill with no fill I'll give no outline I'll design, go to design and move chart to our dashboard now I will place it yeah match plate versus match goals I'll change the fill color orange with red and this color with yellow color now I'm placing it perfectly right click I'll form it I'll decrease the whole size with 45 percent it's done now we'll find out who is the winner of the golden ball for that I'll copy this again and I'll golden I'll give golden ball in rows I'll link the first one I'll go to dashboard again I'll copy a text box I'll reduce the font size as it's a name 
I will link it with this cell and it's done. Font size 11 is perfect. Now I want to find out who is the golden boot winner. For that, I will copy this. I will paste it here. Now for golden ball, I will just replace it with golden boot. A top scorer. Now I will link it. I will go to dashboard. I will link this with this cell and it's done I'll format with format painter now it's the part of golden gloves for that I'll same I'll copy a text box we'll go to our analysis sheet I'll copy this I'll paste it here and in top square name I'll just bring golden gloves a link with the first one I'll go to dashboard I'll link with the cell and it's done now I'll form it painter with this one and it's done now you look at I want to see how many yellow cards has been given I'll copy this I'll paste it here I'll remove these golden gloves I'll just find out red card yellow card I'll paste it in values so it's in count format Replace it with some. It's done. I'll link it as like the previous one. I'll go to dashboard. I'll link it with this cell, and it's done. I'll align it. I'll give it a real black. I'll increase the font. It's done. I'll give a shadow effect. Now I'll copy this and I'll just replace yellow card with red card. Again, we'll do the same. I'll count it as a sum. I'll link it. I'll go to dashboard I'll link it with this cell and it's done I'll align it I'll give a white color font with a real black black is perfect shadow I'll give a shadow effect now I want to show you a red versus yellow card comparison with bar chart for that I'll copy this I will give yellow card along with the red card in the values. I will go to insert. I will give a, a straight 2D bar. I will remove the grid lines. I will fill this with yellow color. I will fill this with red color. I will remove all the field buttons. I will remove all the unnecessary text. and I'll fill it with no fill and no outline I'll copy it and I'll paste it in dashboard now I'll just place it perfectly that's it now we need to find out number of total World Cup for a selected year for that we'll copy this we'll paste it We'll go to analyze field list I'll remove this and I'll just bring date that's it I'll do the same as like previous I'll go to dashboard I'll link this cell with this shape now I'll change the font color and I'll give it a font with a real black and I'll increase the font size of the font
that's done now I want to find out the number of teams played in a single year for that I'll go to analyze it I'll copy this I'll paste it now I'll remove this from values and I will give date in rows and teams in values and I'll do this I'll link with the first cell I'll go to dashboard I'll link this with this one and that is done I'll format this so it's done I'm decreasing the font because it is too big now we'll create our most attractive chart for this dashboard for this we'll copy this out and we'll paste it we'll give winner in rows and we'll give date in columns and and again winner in values this will be count of winner now I'll insert and I'll insert a chart with a stacked column I'll paste it here I'll fill it with no fill I'll remove all the fields buttons I'll remove the grid lines I'll fill it with no outline I'll remove this two I'll just keep the country and I'll remove everything except that I'll fit it with my chart now I'll adjust it a little bit now I'll copy this trophy I'll paste it here now again we'll copy it and we'll paste it for all these little blocks it's very simple but it look very much attractive now delete it and our chart is done now I will insert a slicer for that I'll go to analyze sheet I'll click insert and I'll click on slicer and I'll click here from the bottom side I'll copy it and I'll paste it here I'll place it and I'll adjust it I'll go to option slicer setting hide all items with no data and display header I'll, I'll uncheck that and I will give number of columns to 21 now I'll change the theme you can also change the theme by modify this for whole slicer give this green color fill for item with selected data give this dark green and for font black color and for hover selected with no data give this outline for with data and for no data give this fill that's it you will get a theme like this now I'll report connect we'll do this by clicking the checkbox and we'll click OK now it's done now we can see it's become dynamic this is all for this part don't forget to check the second part to watch the full tutorial the link is in the description box and you can also find it in our channel thanks for watching the video follow us to watch more attractive dashboard with free downloadable file don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon for notification